The Executive Council of the Ghana Football Association is set to elect a new vice president, but that will be after the 12 ESCO member has been voted for as per the electoral demands. Now, some names have sprung up in the local media as favorites for the role. Now, uh, this report describes the main candidates for the GFA vice presidency. The delegates have voted, but their work ends just when the officials they voted into power begins theirs. The executive committee has a top job on their hands, selecting one from the group to join hands with newly elected president Keto Kriku. The practice in the former administration was that the president had the sole power to appoint his deputy. The new statutes take that responsibility of the top boss and distributes it evenly among the ESCO members in a small but crucial event, and we aren't far off from that date. Executive committee members Randy Abe, Dr. Tony Obin, and Mark Addo are thought to be front runners for the role. The manager of Asamoajan Samo Enim Addo's name has come up, but that is a long shot. And there has been a suggestion that Frederick Champong, chief executive officer of Ashanti Gold, will join the race too. But TV3 Sports understands that is not the case and that a Champong will not be interested in that role. Randy Abe is seen as one of the most experienced brains in the game, and with his recent intervention for the clubs at both the Extraordinary Congress, which saw the football community adopt the new statutes, and the Elective Congress, which unanimously agreed to a proposal of playing an 18 team league next season to accommodate Accra Great Olympics and Ken Faisal, many feel he should be the second in command. A section of the football fraternity also believes he is emotionally intelligent and has the personality to help the president. Dr. Tony Urban serves as a board chairman for Mediama Sporting Club and his vast experience in management roles in Ghana and abroad has translated to the club's enviable position as arguably the most stable and well-run football team in the nation. Consistently finishing the top six positions in league campaigns, winning the FA Cup in 2013 and 2015 and winning the 2015 Super Cup are accolades achieved by Mediama through the direction of Dr. Aubin. His leverage of influence in football dates back to the groundbreaking $1.5 million a year deal with the Black Stars in 2006. In Zimar Kotoko, Mark Addo has been also mentioned as a potential vice president. Mr. Addo has had 18 years of progressive experience as a global business executive in the mining, information technology and manufacturing industries globally. He was the recent vice president of the Endeavour Mining Corporation, a mid-tier West Africa-focused gold mining entity where he was responsible for business sustainability that included management of HSC, business development, corporate affairs and government relations. The three are the leading contenders for the position of Kerto Kriku's vice, but the likes of Sami Enim Addo are reportedly keen. It is not the same with Ashanti Gold CEO Frederike Champon who has grown rapidly from one of the country's best sports journalists to a rising star in African football. Working on major tournaments like the Nations Cup and CAF club competitions as a match coordinator, Ichangpong is keen to play a big part in the capacity as an executive committee member, but is reportedly not eyeing the role of vice president. It is almost certain that one of these men will be the second most powerful man in Ghana football for at least the next four years. They all can extend the helping hand Kurt needs in such an important time of our football and hopefully their partnership at the top planning and executing tasks gives us the breath of fresh air we are looking for.